It's Madden NFL 23, and we've got the latest chapter of a historic rivalry. It's the Denver Broncos and the Los Angeles Chargers on Monday Night Primetime. Night beginning to fall over Southern California, but the lights are shining bright here at the spectacular SoFi Stadium in Metropolitan Los Angeles. Tonight, we've got the crew set for what should be a real treat, a great Monday night matchup between the Denver Broncos and the Los Angeles Chargers. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. And Charles, when you and I were going through our final run-throughs at breakfast, we kept thinking tonight we're going to get to see a couple of very good passing offenses. And we're talking about both sides having multiple receivers that could have an impact on this game. It's not just one guy that's going to make all the plays. If you take him away, maybe number two, number three, they make the big plays that impact who wins the game. The kicker, Dustin Hopkins, set to get this one going. And we are underway in Southern California. Fielded just outside the goal line. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. Now here's Russell Wilson, 11th season in the league. First, of course, with Denver. After a high-profile trade this offseason that saw him dealt from Seattle. The Denver Broncos know exactly what they wanted when they acquired Russell Wilson. They wanted to bring in a quarterback who was durable, consistent, and a proven winner to take a talented roster back to the postseason. And Russell Wilson, he was all of those things in Seattle. One losing record in 10 seasons, missed only three games in that time, and made nine Pro Bowls. They begin the drive with Williams. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. That's a really nice, tough run inside. And they gained five yards on it. And to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. Now a carry for the forward. First round pick of the Chargers. It's Melvin Gordon. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. And when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. Wilson now to throw on third down. Got a man complete. It's Hamler. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. They get five, and it will go ahead and move the chains. Well, they kept it simple there, CD, only needing the short gain to move the chains, so they didn't want to go with a deep throw. They just go with that safer, shorter throw and able to convert. Nothing wrong with that at all, partner. Check the box, right? Make sure you pick up the first down. Offense is getting established. You're moving the ball. You're not turning it over. Check, check, check. They like what they're doing early in the game. Now a first down carry. It's Williams. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right in the yard. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling, and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. 
Williams going to get it again on second down. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He winds up giving a yard back there, and now it's third and two. Well, I would have figured after the nine-yard run on the previous play, getting one more yard wouldn't have been much of a problem. But apparently it was, and now it's third down. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. On third and short, they'll try option left. And he's going to have a Broncos first down as he's got this up to the 45-yard line. So that was all you're looking for on a play like that. Get the first down and keep the drive moving. Yeah, it just looked to me like he just said to himself, I've got this. I'll take it. I'll pick it up and let's keep moving. Get the first down, get a new set, and let's start over. So after two first downs, they get another here. First and 10 at the 45. Wilson. Looking left sideline, incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Now Wilson. Man open, he's got it complete to Cortland Sutton. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Five yards, now it's third and five. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. To throw is Wilson. This one complete to Jerry Judy. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. A very well-executed play. It goes for 29 yards. Well, we always hear about the connections some quarterbacks have with certain receivers. I think this guy has a connection with just about everyone. Didn't mind throwing it in there against double coverage to him. Show some confidence, supreme confidence. Big time confidence that he would make the play for him, and he did. They'll go jet sweep here with Sutton. And able to fight forward inside the 15 to the 13. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Well, I sure wouldn't be surprised if we see more of this as this game goes on because we know they like to use their wideouts either on quick throws or on jet sweeps like what we just saw there. And to say that that one worked well, partner, that's stating the obvious. On second down, Williams. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. And it wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. How about this opening drive? Play number 12 now. This is third down. They'll try and run for it. Here's Williams. And he gets the first down yardage he needs before he's brought down at the six. Five yards is the pick up there as that extends this drive. Had a chance to maybe limit them to three if they could have gotten that stop there, but a new set of downs. And with a new set of downs, you got to take the mentality of the whole thing. Right now, everyone's looking at the offense and saying they've got the advantage. The best defenses just say, okay, new set of downs gives us another chance to make a play ourselves and maybe change things up. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. They'll try and run. This is Williams. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Nothing doing there as the 13th play of the drive proves to be unlucky. All runners count on their eyes to find the gaps and creases to find open space. There was absolutely none on that one. Totally swallowed up on that play. A 
They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. Now they'll throw it with Wilson. Touchdown! K.J. Hamler from six yards away. And the Broncos will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. Well, they spoke about the importance of getting off to a good start, and they're on their first drive, Charles, into the end zone for the touchdown. And what an advantage for them. They're already clicking one drive in, didn't need to wait to get up to full speed. We had heard about the extra time they put in with each other, trying to learn each other's skills, what they like, the whole deal, and it paid off early in this one. I would expect them to keep firing on the next drive and keep that connection going. Extra point from McManus is good. And that makes the score After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. Fields it right around the goal line. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Los Angeles taking the field led by Justin Herbert, third-year man out of Oregon whose career is off to an incredibly productive start. It feels like hyperbole, but it's actually reality. In only two seasons, We've seen Justin Herbert do things rarely or never seen before in the NFL. He's won only nine quarterbacks now with a 5,000-yard passing season and made the Chargers a top-five offense for the first time since 2010. He's also the only quarterback to ever throw at least 30 touchdowns in each of his first two seasons and set a record for completions over that same span. Herbert and the Chargers now with a first and 10 at their own 24. They'll try and start this drive in the air. That one thrown away from the pocket. The officials kind of looking at each other, but they'll say there was a receiver in the area, so no penalty, just an incomplete pass. No sense risking anything there on first down. Even though he's still in the pocket, he had a receiver out to his side, so just put that in a spot where the only people who could make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches. Well done. Meanwhile, Herbert's throw there complete to Allen. Even with the nice move, can't go very far. Stop short of the 30. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. That good for 19 yards as they pick up the conversion on third. Well, on third down, he wanted to go to one of his most dependable targets, and that's who he found, his tight end there, to pick up the first, Charles. And he used the proper word there, dependable, and sometimes spectacular, because tight ends nowadays, they can do it all. But they're the guys you trust, especially across the middle of the field where there's traffic. He delivers, and they pick up nice yardage. Herbert throwing again. He'll get this over the middle here to Palmer. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. Rashawn Slater, first-round pick in 2021, guilty there. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Now it's Herbert. They'll find Everett there, complete. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. To throw again on second down, Herbert. 
Finds the open man. It's Mike Williams. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. They sure put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Now Herbert with it looking to pass. Got an open man. It's Josh Palmer. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. Solid opening drive so far, Charles. They've moved this football in the field goal range, but you know that they want to cap this off with six and not three. Absolutely. It's one of the better coaches in the league always tells me. On offense, I want the body blows all game long and finish it with uppercuts. Well, here are the body blows right now. He's hoping one uppercut will take care of the end of this drive. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They'll run for the first time with Austin Eckler. Even with the good footwork, he'll be stopped just inside the 35-yard line. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Here's Herbert. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. A very solid gain of 27. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. First and goal, and a chance to get that initial touchdown right back. Herbert will give this one to Eckler, and he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. Austin Eckler, a six-yard touchdown run, and the Chargers respond to that opening drive touchdown with one of their own. So, partner, it was a passing game that drove them down the field, but when they get close, they trust that man in the backfield, and he took them home. And they trust their offensive line as well because so many of these units, they specialize in either pass protection or run blocking. This group shows his versatility and gets both done on this drive. Hopkins with the extra point, and we are tied at seven. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it's Austin Eckler who finishes things off for the touchdown run. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 here as the kick's away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. So now the second drive offensively coming up for the Denver Broncos. A lot of time for this unit to game plan on the sideline after that drive that they watched the other side just score. But remember, last time they were out, they scored as well. We'll see if they can seize that momentum right back. And they have had a lot of time to cool off from reaching the end zone the last time. So have they been able to keep themselves mentally sharp and into this game, even though they haven't been on the field? And you and I both know, one big play, though, gets them right back up to that level. Now a throw over the middle, and he's got it to start the drive. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that will bring up second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here, and what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Throwing again on second down. Wilson, and he's going to have the hook up to Sutton. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 
A couple of veterans. Wilson to Sutton there for the Bronco first. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass on the first drive. It comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. A really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought, yeah, he might be locked in for this one. Here's Wilson. Albert Okuwebunam, the intended target. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. A good pickup there, 21 yards. Had the offense humming on the first drive. Not much has changed here on drive number two. No, and I think a lot of times confidence just really kicks in for a team. They may have been confident going into the game, but once you prove it on a drive, it's hard to get out of that mindset, isn't it? And look, let's face it. We can always lock in on the skill position, guys. But those big fellas up front, they're really making this offense go early in the game. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 36. Wilson's throw there, complete to Hamlin. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. That's back-to-back -back plays of over 20 yards. And that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Throwing again here, Wilson. Throwing over the middle. And it's incomplete. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Throwing is Wilson. Flushed out right. Give him seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. And that's an early scramble that can be viewed positively by either side. From the offensive point of view, it begins to establish him as a possibility to keep it on certain plays. And defensively, they avoided giving up a huge play in one of their first tests in containing a quarterback on the run. These two teams all tied after one. Broncos football as we begin quarter number two. The Broncos on third down. A perfect four for four thus far. This time it's third and three. And it's caught. So that'll be no better than an incompletion. And that's going to make it fourth down. Excuse my snarkiness here, but isn't the idea of completing a pass supposed to mean you get downfield and gain yards? Especially on third down. Yeah, that one. How about the defense? Figured that one out in a big way. Yeah, they completed it all right and lost yardage. They're going on fourth down. It's Wilson. Touchdown, Broncos. Russell Wilson with two first-half touchdown passes. And the Broncos' decision to go for it pays off with six points. It took a pretty big risk right there going for it on fourth down. But, hey, not only did they get the first down, forget about that, they got in the end zone. Yeah, because normally you're just thinking, can I get enough yardage to get it past the sticks and pick up a first down? Instead, they go for the end zone and get it done with no margin for error. Remember, fourth down, they went for it. McManus's point after is good, and that makes the score 14-7. to So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And Cortland Sutton able to finish things off with the touchdown reception.
after the touchdown. Here's McManus now to kick it away. DeAndre Carter now from his end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Chargers get set to go here for their second drive. They trail a one-score deficit, 14-7, as they come up first and 10. Here's Eckler to begin the drive. And not much there. Maybe a yard up to the 24. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs. Run some plays, run some clock. Allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath. Settle down and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. On second and nine, Herbert. Herbert has it knocked free. It's picked up by the Broncos. And this is going to be brought back for a Denver touchdown. So the big fella gets on the scoreboard with a return for a touchdown. Good thing he didn't have to go too far, though. You know the trainers were very happy about that. Imagine having to go get him in the end zone, escort him to the bench, and give him the oxygen. They were loving the fact that he got in without having to run very far. Now McManus for the extra point. It's good, and it is now 21-7. to So not only the cough-up, but then the pick-up on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. Taking it about the one. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. Herbert going to lead up the Chargers here, first and 10 at their own 22. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. That's complete to the tight end, Everett. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he could break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Second and four. A play fake, and now Herbert to throw. Rolling to his right. And incomplete on the deep ball. Well, that was an interesting look there, because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. From the gun, Herbert on third down. Got a man, it's complete, it's Palmer. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, this is an awfully tough route to defend in man coverage because he lines up on the right and then runs a crossing route back to the other side of the field. So as a defender, you're not only trailing him the whole way, 
You're also looking out for your own guys to make sure you don't get yourself picked off. And then you can't catch up in time to prevent the completion. Running on first down, Eckler. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. 11 more on that one and another first down. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. Show a first and ten now in Denver territory at the 44-yard line. Back to throw here, Herbert. Quick slant complete to Keenan Allen. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. 12 more yards there and another first down. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half, but I like their countenance. I like the way that they're having panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They were starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Out of the gun, Eckler running it. Give him five on the carry there and it'll be second down. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're a back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Justin Herbert looking to pass. Throws left side, complete to Keenan Allen. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Herbert with a connection to Allen for a Charger first down. Covering's best and most consistent wide receivers in his 10th season in the league. Keenan Allen is just automatic at this point. Nice catch from him there for a first down. 100 catches, 1,100 yards, at least six touchdowns a season. Wash, rinse, repeat. But let's not take him for granted. He's a terrific player. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Herbert operating from the red zone. Able to hook up with Williams here on the out route. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. Back-to-back -back nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. Now they've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. Eckler going to take this down just short of the goal line. He got three, but could not get the ball over the chalk. Give him three on the game there, second and goal. This is a critical sequence here for this offense. Things really haven't gone their way so far. This could be their chance to get back into it, but they've got to find a way to punch this ball in. Second down and goal. Herbert. Got a man. It's Allen for the Charger touchdown. A one-yard touchdown pass. And the Chargers have got it back to within a score. And all about timing there on that short slant, Charles. Exactly right. That was timed up so well. The route, the throw, touchdown. Now it's Hopkins to add the extra point. It's up and good. This becomes a 21-14 ball game now. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it was Keenan Allen who finished it all off with the touchdown reception.
Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. Taken at the goal line. Denver's offense now set to go. So for this offense, Charles, remember drive one made it to the end zone. Drive two resulted in a touchdown as well. Now they'll try to make it three for three. Yeah, and you know, they told us all week that this was the plan and this is what they wanted to execute, but did they really believe it would happen this well, this efficiently? I know they'll take it, and afterwards they'll say, there is never a doubt in our minds we were going to be successful in this one. So first and 10 here for Wilson and the Broncos at their own 18. Play action, it's Wilson. This one swung out to Williams. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it's second down. And that's the type of play that gives you a chance to win. Nothing forced downfield where you don't have a guy open. Swing it out to the back, I mean, maybe even check it down, whatever you want to call it. Gain of five. You're just trying to get four on first down. They're ahead of the chains now. Working with second and five now. Wilson toward the left sideline, but it's incomplete. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and give the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. Now Wilson. Got a man, it's Judy complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A big play there on the catch and run. 31 yards. Well, you don't have to be a genius to watch this game and figure out they've had plenty of success moving the football here in the first half. We've seen exhibits A, B, C, and right on down the line, haven't we? Yeah, we just saw exhibit Z right there. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Wilson will throw again. And Sutton hauls it in over the middle. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. scrimmage the 31 now on first and 10 off the play fake here's Wilson over the middle complete to Judy and inside the 20 before he's brought down another nice gain 13 yards that time and another first down and defensively they were in zone coverage there do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme, and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front, defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Denver score. 18 yards for Melvin Gordon. And the Broncos go up by two touchdowns. That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of a season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. Extra point from McManus is good. And the lead now up to 14.
after the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. And this fielded right at the goal line. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. And right now, we've got a little bit of an offensive masterpiece going on both sides, moving the football, scoring points. It's almost like somebody put the defense on rookie mode in this one. I mean, we haven't even left the first half, Charles, and we're certainly on pace for a shootout. An excellent start for both offenses. The fans have to be enjoying this to seeing all these points go up on the board. As a former defender, you know I'm not enjoying this at all, but right now, both these teams just trading haymakers. Let's see if anyone slips up first. Can anyone counter with a nice little jab and get things going in their direction? DJ Jones busting through to get him for a loss of six. But defensively, they're doing everything they can to protect this early lead after giving up a touchdown on their last drive. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Another try after the first down sack. Herbert working the middle here. That's complete to Everett, the tight end. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. When you struggle on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Up the middle with Eckler. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Once more, here's Eckler. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked out before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard on the play, so now they need three yards on third down. And that's exactly what offenses try to avoid by using motion and throwing different formations up. They hate when he can draw a bead on the play, get a running start, and make a big play behind the line of scrimmage as he did just there. The Chargers on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. Here it's third and three. Now Herbert with it looking to pass. On the screen, this is Eckler. And he's got enough for the first across midfield to the 48. The drive stays alive. A third down gain of eight. And this pass rush has really been bringing the heat and has already gotten home a few times here in the first half. So how about the play call there? Sometimes if you can't protect, you've got to fool them. Screen passes like that can take a little steam out of what's been a relentless rush so far. Show a first and 10 now in Denver territory at the 48-yard line. Here's Herbert. Looking Austin Eckler's way again. He gets it forward for four, maybe five, but the flags fly. And this one could be coming back. That hold coming from the left side of the line. Hands got caught in the cookie jar on that one, and the flag came out. Penalty against him. Now it's Herbert. He's got it to Williams. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action.
Looking to throw again on second down. Herbert. He's got a man. That's Keenan Allen. And this is going to be another first down as they'll make the tackle at the Broncos 28. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. Had to put that ball in there with a little extra zip, but he put it right where it needed to be. Yeah, and that little extra pace that he had on the pass, that required a little extra concentration for him, didn't it? Ball can get on you pretty quick in that manner, and he handled it well and picked up the first down. To the air again, Herbert. Throw right side, complete to Williams. And out of bounds right around the 20. A gain of eight there on the eighth play of the drive. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. To throw again on second down. Herbert. And he'll find his man on the out route. That's Allen. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. Line of scrimmage, the 15, it's first and 10. And now Herbert a little unsure of things, so he's going to go ahead and call a timeout as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. First down, Justin Herbert. He's got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Chargers. Josh Palmer, a 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Chargers get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. I think everyone in the league talks about finishing, don't they? Doesn't matter whether it's a quarter, a half, a game, a series, whatever. But they're finishing the first half in fine style, putting that one in the end zone. They did, and they didn't leave much time on the clock either. Well done. On is Hopkins now for the extra point. He's got it, and they're back within a touchdown at 28-21. A 10-play drive that time, and it ends with a touchdown pass to Josh Palmer. the touchdown Dustin Hopkins will kick it away from a couple yards deep he'll bring it out of the end zone and he will be brought down here inside the 20 good coverage as he's dropped at the 17 the Broncos going to go on offense now late in this first half and we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead, but a mistake there, that can change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half. Well, throw on first down with Wilson. throw here is incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Throwing is Wilson. And he will find his man Sutton. That's complete. 
Now the Broncos are going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Wilson. Open man, and again it's Sutton. Touchdown! Making a hat trick for Russell Wilson. Three touchdown passes now. And the Broncos will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. That's a pretty quick response to that last touchdown drive, and it seemed like they had maybe given up momentum. Well, not so fast. No, not at all, because they end up pushing the lead up once again, and you're exactly right. Thought momentum might have been shifting. Instead, they grabbed old Mo, didn't let him get to the opposite sideline. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. The Chargers going to take over here one more time before the half. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball, just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. A little under 30 seconds to go. We'll see how they play it here on first and 10. Here's Herbert. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And a great move on the play as he takes this one past the 25. And a really nice play call there to start the drive, especially if you're a team that has a little bit of a reputation for throwing it downfield. You come out, and you think maybe you can catch them off guard a little bit, and they did. A little screen pass, backdoored them, and that time worked well for a solid gain. The final shot before the break for Herbert. That's caught right side by Palmer. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. First order of business, though. Let's get a look at the next-gen stats in that first half for Denver. And the ground game has been a big part of why they have this big lead. And you have to figure they'll lean on it a little bit more in the third and fourth quarters. And meanwhile, for the Chargers, there's a look at what they were able to do throwing the football. And they'll need to get things in gear as they trail here at the break. All right, Coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Chargers going to get the football first here in this second half, and they trail as we get back underway. This taken in at the goal line. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. The Chargers getting ready to go here to start this third quarter. This offense, Charles, had a strong first half throwing the football, at least in terms of yardage, but that hasn't translated so far on the scoreboard as they begin the third quarter here trailing and looking for a little momentum. Yeah, you're right about that because, you know, let's face it, in the first half, most of their focus was in the passing game, and to their credit, resulted in a healthy amount of yardage. So I would think that at halftime, 
They're going to anticipate that defense loosening up a little bit to try and cover the passing lanes. They've got to get the running game going, and there should be some gaps to run through now. And they're able to get this one across the 35. He continues to deliver a first down here. He had four catches in the first half, and this one number five. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them, and these guys have been taking advantage so far. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They'll try the right side with Eckler. And he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. No doubt about it. Really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. On second and nine, Herbert. Out left, he's got it to Everett. That's good, the completion there for seven yards. And that'll leave him with a third and two. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives him a much better opportunity to convert on third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. 47 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. Brandon, I think you and I were both raised the same way in the game of football. You run to set up the pass, but I think we've discovered in this NFL, a lot of teams pass to set up the run. And that's what they've done throughout this game. They've aired it out, thrown it around the yard. Now they've come back to the running game, and they find a way to be successful with it. So a first and 10 now in Denver territory at the 45-yard line. Back to throw here, Herbert. And that one complete to his receiver, Palmer. And he's taken down inside the 30. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. They'll run out of the gun with Eckler. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Ten more there and another first down. The more football I watch, the more I want to check and see if teams are going to panic when they're down on the scoreboard. And this team has shown no signs of doing that a lot of the time. They come out after the half. Things haven't worked so well in the first go-around. They won't throw the football like crazy. But the way to open up throwing the ball is to run it. And they've run it well here to start the second half. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Herbert operating from the red zone. Across the formation, he's got a man. That's Allen. Touchdown, Chargers. Keenan Allen with a touchdown reception from Justin Herbert. And the Chargers are back within a score. That's a score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard, you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency yet relaxed enough to get it done. Extra point good by Hopkins. And that'll cut the lead down to a touchdown. So the drive winds up going 75 yards in seven plays. And it was Keenan Allen who finished it all off with the touchdown reception. the touchdown Dustin Hopkins will kick it away 
fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. Now Cortland Sutton and the rest of the offense getting ready for their next drive. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. So first and 10 here for Wilson and the Broncos at their own 21. From the gun, he'll set up to throw. Pressure comes, and Wilson's going to go down. The former number three pick, Joey Bosa, bringing the lumber that time. I'm sure a lot of time was spent in the locker room, Charles, with talking with this defense about setting a tone here in the third quarter when you're down on the scoreboard. A sack like that, maybe that can get them going. Yeah, you have to believe exactly what you just said, that they got together and said, let's be some change agents here. Let's go ahead and turn things around. Let's be the force that gets us going here in the second half and puts us in a position to find a way to win the game. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. That's going to be caught by Judy. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. That one, a gain of 20 in a first down. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Up the middle, it's Williams. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Here's Wilson. This is Hamler on the receiving end. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. And I see an extra defensive back on the field. Little surprise here on third and one. They'll try and run it. Here's Gordon. And he's got a first down as he's up to the 48. Able to get what they need to keep the drive going with a six-yard pickup on third down. We know Melvin Gordon is very effective getting to the perimeter, but being a former University of Wisconsin Badger means you know how to run the ball inside and with power as well. I also like the fact that he's a weapon in the passing game. Had as many as 58 catches in a season. Throw it to him in space and look out. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. Now it's Wilson. And he's going to have the hook up to Sutton. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. Working with a second and four. And movement by one of the Broncos up front, and in comes the flag. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. The false start hurts him there a bit, backs him up to second and nine. Now Wilson. It's his running back, Melvin Gordon. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. Oh, 
This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. Wilson. He'll get that complete to Albert O. And he will have the Broncos first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moved. And yeah, they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. So from the 36 now, first and 10. To throw is Wilson. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Sutton. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. A Bronco first down there, 12 yards on the play. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. Now Gordon on first down. He's able to work free for about six down to the 18. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. The last run got six, now second and four. Here's Wilson to throw. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. On third down, here's Williams. And he is going to lose yardage here. He lost two, and it brings up four. The short field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that play. Those extra tight ends, they weren't able to secure their blocks, and that one ended up going backwards. Fourth down, Wilson trots off, and on comes Brandon McManus for the Denver field goal. The kick by McManus is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So three points, a uh, response there to that opening touchdown of this third quarter. And that's an important three, both in terms of adding to your lead, but also in letting the other guys know you're not going to just come out in the second half and take over. After splitting the uprights, McManus to kick it away. From his end zone, here comes Carter. Justin Herbert leading this unit out for their next possession. And the numbers for the last drive, and he was perfect, which maybe isn't surprising because he has not missed a pass in this game yet. And it lets you know just how precise things have to be for a quarterback to be perfect because that means the line's blocking really well. No one's dropping any of the passes thrown to them, and the quarterback is accurate. It's almost like a pitcher throwing a no-hitter or a perfect game, isn't it? He's the principal guy, but he needs a lot of help. Time to find out if he can keep that perfect game going here, partner. They started on the ground with Eckler. And he'll get what he can up the middle. Three yards, and that'll bring up second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up. Found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Now second and seven from the 23. It's Eckler again. And he'll take it forward for about five up to the 28-yard line. 
It's not a huge breakaway run, but if your starting running back finishes the game with averages of five or six yards per touch, you'll take that every single time. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Eckler now between the tackles. The 71 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. What a dynamic player Eckler has become since going undrafted out of Western State. He was top five in rushing touchdowns and all-purpose yards last season while nearly getting his first 1,000-yard campaign on the ground. Somehow, he has yet to appear in a Pro Bowl. That seems likely to change this season. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Gets it into the hands of Allen on the jet sweep. And able to use his blockers to get this up over the 40. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Should play and they'll give to Eckler. And he stopped after a gain of one. Not enough. Still a yard to go on third down. We know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. On third down, here's Eckler. And he's brought down, but following a pretty juke move that gives him the first down. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? Lava has been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. As they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Two first downs have them up near midfield now on first and ten. A handoff. It's Eckler. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. They'll try the air now with Herbert. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down give it big credit for his coverage right there because when he saw the route break deep he stayed in position to prevent a completion while avoiding any risk of a flag now this drive they're two for two on third down conversions but they need seven yards here justin herbert looking to pass williams brings it in and this is going to be another first down as they'll make the tackle at the Broncos 33. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Charger first. And in a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. He'll get this out wide to Eckler. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. 
It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, their eyes light up when they talk about open field and having one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do. And that's the reason why. What we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play. One-on-one -on -one matchup of someone trying to cover them, but they also like those one-on-ones downfield after the catch when they're running with the ball. They think they're going to win those, too. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. Herbert on first down now. Throw right side is into the hands of his tight end, Everett. And he is out of bounds. Looks like right at the 15. So the completion good for six yards. And it'll be second down. Now that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. Nine yards on the play there, and it sets him up first and goal. to give this is Eckler he gets him a little bit closer he takes it from the six inside the five to the four all of a sudden those lanes that were there earlier in the drive dry up near the goal line that's a good job defensively to diagnose the run and stop it for a very short pickup second and goal from inside the five Herbert and this is caught. He's got it. Touchdown, L.A. Josh Palmer with his second touchdown of the night. And the Chargers have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Well, time to let those folks know who are tuning in looking for the late local news. And we may be a moment because we've got a game again. And partner, except for those on the West Coast, where it'll be seen in its regular time, right? That's the way it works, doesn't it? But how about that? Big time drive right there. If they're going to have any chance, they needed a touchdown there, and they went right down the field and worked their way into the end zone. Here's Hopkins now for the extra point. And the lead is down to a field goal now. That drive a long one, spanning 15 plays. And it ends with a touchdown pass to Josh Palmer. touchdown Dustin Hopkins will kick it away taken at the goal line and he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20 and the football going back over to the Denver Broncos that last touchdown has made this really tight they're clinging now to this slim lead what the Jesus second half they only have a field goal this offense needs to kick it into gear and right now I'm looking directly at the field general at the quarterback this to me he's got to take over right now by word pumping his team up and then of course by deed with his play my school coach used to say that all the time laddie take over by word and deed and deed means action exactly Throwing now, Wilson on first down. Albert Okuwebunam, the intended target. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. 
That play going for 16 yards to start the drive. First down. Well, it may seem a little unorthodox to some people. Got the lead, fourth quarter, yet he's still firing away. I think he believes that's the best way to go ahead and win the game. Yeah, a lot of coaches say, let's just run the football, be conservative. He's sticking to his game plan. No, that is his game, and that's what they're going to ride. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. From the gun, it's Wilson. To the sideline, and wow, what a catch there. He doesn't get a lot, but he was able to get the feet down complete. So the completion gets him just a yard, and it'll be second down. They should have got more out of that, though. He was wide open. I love how emphatic you are with that call because that's exactly what I was thinking. Wide open in the flat. Give him a ball that he can use to get upfield with, not just catch and go over the sideline. They cost themselves some yardage there. Meanwhile, Wilson's throw taken in by Sutton. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. He's been big. Two touchdowns earlier. Now he's got a first down here. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. Wilson will throw again. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. When that ball popped free, we could hear it all the way up here. Those guys down on the field alerting everyone of the fumble. He's lucky that his offensive mates picked him up and jumped on it. Yeah, and you have to think to yourself, and I'm sure they've been echoing it on the sideline and into the huddle. Guys, we have the lead. Just take care of the football. Don't make it easier for them to start to make a comeback. The fumble on first down now. Here's second down. From midfield now, here's Wilson. And pressure coming, and they got him once again. Kenneth Murray in there to drop him. It sacks on first and second downs. Now leads to a third and long. So once again, they dial up the pressure and get home and get a sack. It brings up a third and long, but it's really not an unmakeable one, especially considering they just gave up back-to-back -back sacks. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. Joey Bosa, that's now back-to-back -back sacks, and it brings up fourth down. Well, it's been a little bit of feast or famine because he's thrown for decent yardage, and obviously they've got the lead, Charles, but now he's been sacked four times. And what I'm focusing on is his toughness in the pocket because you mentioned the feast or famine part. He's played well in between being dumped on his back but every time he's had a chance to throw the football, he's been impressive. Here's Sam Martin now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. On the return, Carter. It's a 45-yard punt and eight on the return. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. The offense for Los Angeles returns to the field. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth quarter lead. Herbert and the Chargers now with a first and 10 at their own 23. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Over the middle and it's caught. Keenan Allen. So five yards here, five on the play. And yeah, that's going to bring up second down. I got the sense that the defense created a little momentum for them there, didn't they? Did their job, forced the punt. Now, nice start to the drive. Offense has to do their part. Yeah, they certainly do, but what a great start for them. They got to go thank the guys on D. Off the play fake to Eckler, it's Herbert. And he'll go right back to Allen. That's complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a gain of 13 for number 13, and it gives him a first down. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch him drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, 
but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Going on the ground with Eckler. Taken down at the 42. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Here's Herbert. Over the middle complete. It's Allen. And they're going to get this up to midfield. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. The Chargers on third down. They've been automatic. How about eight for eight in the game thus far? They're looking at third and a few inches. And he gets it down to the 48, enough for the first. I used to joke with my teammates who carried the ball a lot. When we got in these situations and they were carrying us home, I used to tell them, boy, you guys just look like Paul Bunyan, just growing stronger, bigger, tougher, and all night long, he's carried this team. He has indeed. Everything magnified right now, a huge third down conversion. First down, Justin Herbert. Throw right side, complete to Williams. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. The Chargers passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. So from the 36 now, first and 10. from the shotgun. Here's Herbert. And that one complete to his receiver, Palmer. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. <laughs> Throwing again on second down. Herbert. Got a man over the middle. It's Williams. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. And with that catch, he goes over 100 yards receiving on the night. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They've moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Back to throw here, Herbert. And he's got it. Got his man on the end round. Complete. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. Partner, you've got about 20 coaches on your payroll, but there's 60,000 of them in the stands. I don't think any of them like that play. And the later we go, it's starting to sound like 100,000 in here. And this will be caught in the end zone for a Chargers touchdown. Gerald Everett from four yards out. And the Chargers have taken a fourth quarter lead. There it is, partner. You see it. Four fingers. What does that mean? That, that signifies the fourth quarters here. That's right. Who's going to dominate? Usually both teams are holding them up. We own the fourth quarter where we found out so far. Two touchdowns here, and now they've taken the lead. Yeah, second one putting them in front. You know what I see on the other sideline, though? It seems like they've tensed up, had that lead. They were playing not to lose it, and they've lost it. That's a great observation. When you play not to lose, 
you usually don't win. Now, though, they'll have the opportunity to respond. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. Taken in at the three. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. So here is Wilson and the Broncos. Down by four, a little over a minute and a half remaining. They've surrendered a double-digit lead but can rescue themselves late as they come up on first down. Wilson to throw. Wide open receiver complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. The end result, 21 yards. Now you're right on the edge of field goal range. You've still got time, but get up to the line of scrimmage and get set. First down now, but that clock rolling. Throwing now is Wilson. They're going for Hamlin, but this is intercepted. Derwin James with a pick. And the Chargers have just about sewn up this football game. When you talk about making winning plays, that is a winning play at this stage of the game to come up with that interception, huge. I like how you identified that because most people think winning plays are the offense trying to get it done. In this case, nursing a lead, they found a way to make a play on that side of the ball and maybe finish things off. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. They'll run here with Eckler and nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Now the Broncos are going to call the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. Another running situation on the doorstep as they come up second and ten. On the ground, it's Eckler. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in the fourth. The Broncos going dime. Two extra defensive backs for third down. Playing pass all the way. Herbert. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Williams. Now the Broncos will use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. So they'll come up first in 10 now from the 33. Victory formation time for the Chargers. They take a knee. Partner, they took a knee to finish this one off. To me, that's the only thing they lost in the fourth quarter. How about that comeback? Yeah, trailed coming into the last frame. Got it done, taking the knee. Herbert to a knee, and that should just about write it into this one. 
Charles, normally when you see a group score this many points, it's a complete blowout. But instead, they needed every single one of those in this close, high-scoring affair. And Brandon, I'm still on the edge of my seat after that one because when you have that much scoring and it still comes down to one possession game at the end, that's not something we see very often. And in this case, these offenses, they brought it. The defenses, they're going to need some work going forward.